Good morning and welcome to Friday Morning Prayer. My name's Scott Dully and I'm the parish priest here at St Peter's East Maitland. And I'm Sarah Dully, parish priest at St Mary's at Maitland and St Christopher's at Talara Rutherford. We are praying in the Barnabas Chapel at St Peter's Church in East Maitland, which stands on Wanarua country. And our family pays its respects to elders past and present. Morning prayer this morning can be found on page 413 of a prayer book for Australia. The psalm set for this morning is Psalm 89, verses 1 to 18, which commences on page 315 of the prayer book. Let us pray together. Through Christ, let us offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. The fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We'll say the opening canticle, a song of God's grace together. We have complete freedom to, to go, go into, into the, the most holy place by means of the death of Jesus. Jesus. He, he opened, opened for us a new way, way a living way, way, through the curtain, through, through his, his own body. Since, Since we have a great high priest, set over the household of God. Let us draw near with a sincere heart and a sure faith, with hearts that have been made clean from a guilty conscience and bodies washed with pure water. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 89, verses 1 to 18, and we'll say the psalm by alternate verses. Lord, I will sing forever of your loving kindness. My mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness throughout all generations. I have said of your loving kindness that is built forever, you have established your faithfulness in the heavens. The Lord said, I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn an oath to my servant David. I will establish your line forever and build up your throne for all generations. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, and let your faithfulness be sung in the assembly of the holy ones. For who amidst the clouds can be compared to the Lord? Or who is like the Lord amongst the gods? A God to be feared in the council of the holy ones, great and terrible above all that are around him. O Lord God of hosts, who is like you? Your power and your faithfulness are all about you. You rule the raging of the sea. When its waves surge, you still them. You crush Rahab like a carcass. You scattered your enemies by your mighty arm. The heavens are yours, so also is the earth. You founded the world and all that is in it. You created the north and the south. Tabor and Mount Hermon shall sing of your name. Mighty is your arm, strong is your hand, and your right hand is lifted high. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Loving kindness and faithfulness attend your presence. Happy the people who know the triumphal shout, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. They rejoice all the day long because of your name. Because of your righteousness, they are exalted. For you are their glory and their strength, and our heads are uplifted by your favour. Our King belongs to the Lord, he that rules over us to the Holy One of Israel. Let us pray. Holy God, through your beloved Son, you reconciled all things to yourself, making peace by the blood of his cross. Fill us and those for whom we pray with your peace and joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our reading today is from Matthew chapter 12, beginning at verse 22. Then they brought to him a demoniac who was blind and mute, and he cured them, cured him so that one who had been mute could speak and see. 
All the crowds were amazed and said, Can this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, It is only Beelzebul, the ruler of the demons, that this fellow casts out the um, that this fellow casts out the demons. He knew what they were thinking and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and no city or house divided against itself will stand. If Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will this kingdom stand? If I cast out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own exorcists cast them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the Spirit of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come to you. Or how can anyone enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man? Then indeed the house can be plundered. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather me with me scatters. Therefore I tell you, people will be forgiven every sin and blasphemy, but blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. Whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad, for the tree is known by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you speak good things when you are evil? For out of the abundance of the heart of the mouth speak. The good person brings good things out of the good treasure, and the evil person brings evil things out of evil treasure. I tell you, on the day of judgment, you will have to give an account for every careless word you utter. For by your words you will be justified, and your words you will be condemned. May your word live in us. And bear much fruit to your glory. We'll say the canticle, the saviour of the world together. Jesus, saviour of the world, come, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, Make, make us to be, be one with you and, and to share, share the life of your kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as, as we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. Save, save us, us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Generous God, whose hand is open to fill all things living with plenteousness, make us ever thankful for your goodness and grant that we, remembering the account that we must one day give, may be faithful stewards of your bounty through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. After each short petition this morning, I invite you to add your own quiet prayers. We pray for the peace of the world, for the leaders of the nations, and for all in authority. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for the welfare of your holy church. We pray for our bishops, Peter, Sonia and Charlie, and for all the clergy and people. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the First Nations people of our diocese. We pray for reconciliation and justice and for hearts and minds that seek to work in collaboration for those causes. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we may share with justice the resources of the earth and live in trust and goodwill with one another. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the aged and the infirm, for the bereaved and the lonely, and for the sick and suffering. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the poor and the oppressed, for prisoners and captives, and for all who care for them. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves and for each other. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We praise you, Lord God, for the communion of saints and for the glorious hope of the resurrection to eternal life. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace be to us all and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day.